Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do a quick review of the Reynolds number. Now the Reynolds number is, in, is an indication whether or not the flow is laminar or the flow is turbulent. Typically when the Reynolds number is 2,000 or less, we can think of it as, as the fluid flow being laminar, and when it's greater than 4,000 it tends to be turbulent, and in between it depends on a bunch of conditions, so what type of material the fluid flows through and so forth, viscosity, the friction, things like that. But the Reynolds number can be calculated like this, where this is the density of the fluid, the average velocity of the fluid, because it's going to change in the, inside the pipe. L here represents the distance over which the fluid travels from one end to the other end of the whatever it is that contains the fluid. So for a circular pipe, it ends up being the diameter of the pipe, and we divide that by the viscosity of the fluid. Some typical numbers for water. 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, let's say it's moving at 5 centimeters per second, the pipe is 10 centimeters in diameter, and the viscosity is 0 0.001 pascal times seconds, and we get the number 5,000, which would be indic indicative that in this particular case, the fluid flow would be turbulent. In order to make it flow in a laminar sense, we would have to slow down the velocity to get a smaller Reynolds number, so to make it flow in a laminar fashion, just to get a feel for it, and that is how it's done calculating the Reynolds number.